So you might be in a position where for some reason your Samsung Galaxy S Pen or your stylus is not working with your Samsung Galaxy tablet. Now this can happen for a lot of different reasons. The number one reason why something like this could end up happening is because either the stylus is dead or it wasn't properly connected to your particular device. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you just want to go ahead and make sure that your particular stylus was properly connected. And you can do that usually by just clicking this thing to the top portion of your particular tab. So you can just go and connect it like this and you should be able to see somehow it's going to be connected. Usually if you go inside of your particular settings of your particular you know, Samsung Galaxy tablet, click on connected devices, sometimes you should kind of be able to see it. And that's kind of one quick thing to kind of do. So that's one option that you can always do. Now for some reason that doesn't work or if nothing like that is working, another thing you can try doing is going through and actually just making sure that your particular stylus is charged. And you can do that by either on your Galaxy phone, plugging it into the actual device and like actually clicking it in, or just hovering it over like this and clicking to the top of your tablet. That's another option you have as well. So try going through and doing one of those types of things and a majority of the time that should end up fixing the problem for a lot of people. Now if you do that and that's still not working, another thing you may want to try doing is restarting your Galaxy tab. So just going through and holding down the buttons that you normally would to restart it, maybe not this one but the up and down button, the volume down button and the power button at the same time, or you can just swipe down from the very top here and click on the power option right here and restarting your particular device. That's another option that you will have. That's another thing I'd probably recommend doing for the average person out there as well. If that's still not working, you can also try updating your particular tablet. So make your way back into your you know, system settings right here. Scroll all the way down one more time until you see software update. Go ahead and download and install the latest update available for your Galaxy tab. And that's another thing you can do to end up fixing this problem as well. So those are basically the main ways to go and fix this problem for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, help me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.